Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video we're going to go ahead and upload our files to our server. And to do that we're going to use FileZilla. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new connection. So, new site, I'm just going to say Laravel. And I'm going to copy and paste the IP address from the email. So I'm going to grab it from the email and paste it here. Change this to SSH. This is going to be normal. Change this to root. And then we're going to need the password, username, password. So I'm just copy the password in there. And hit OK. And I'm going to hit it again, just type and just hit connect and hopefully it'll connect. Hit OK. And there we go. I'm in the server. So the file I'm going to use is the source file for a blog tutorial. My premium blog tutorial that I have for sale. So it's going to be right here. And I'm just going to select all this and bring it down to select all that and actually let me go over here first. Go into bar go into www and we'll get rid of these two files. These are two files that we created. Delete those and then I can do it select all these selected and reselect all these again Keep this on. and right click and just select upload and here I'm gonna pause it because it's gonna be uploading all these files and I'll be back as soon as it finishes uploading okay my files have finally finished uploading as you can see here so the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and install Curl, uh, not curl, but composer. Because we installed composer yesterday. So, I mean, not composer, we installed curl in the previous videos, and now we're going to install composer. So, to do that, we're going to say curl, curl s, or actually dash ss, and http, doesn't need to capitalize it, https colon forward slash forward slash git composer.org and it's going to be forward slash installer then a pipe stem and then PHP so why isn't it grabbing this All right, I'm going to just copy and paste this out of here so if you go to composer's website it'll show you the curl command to do it so here it is, enter, and here we go. Now it's going to install it. So now it is installed. The next command we're going to use is we're going to move it so that we can use Composer globally. To do that, we're going to say sudo move composer that far, and we're going to move it to user bin, uh, local. Bin and Composer. Okay, now it's moved it. Next, we're going to enable mod, enable mod rewrite on Apache. So we're going to say sudo a2, which is Apache 2, en, which is enable, mod, which is mod, and next we're going to say rewrite. So there's that, and then we're just going to say service Apache 2 restart. So service Apache 2 restart. That's going to restart the server. Next, we need to go ahead and edit the HG access file so we can get we can use Laravel's pretty uh, well not that pretty. What it's going to do? Like, let me show you. So actually because I have a database attached to this I need to go ahead and set that up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open Sublime Text 3 and there is a folder that I have open recent it's Chris there are that one go to app go to config database 
and I'm just going to create a database in here. Chris root Polygon password. Yeah, we can use that. Let's change that to. No, we can use that. So that's good. And I'm just going to go ahead and upload that file. Actually, it should have been uploaded. So I'm going to go ahead and create a database with all that information. So database. Create that. And now, let's see if we can't migrate our... First, we need to go ahead and install our database. So PHP, uh, PHP, Artisan, Migrate, Install. Press migrate install. Oh, we have to be in our directory first. So cd var www. Okay, now we can run that command. And it's already created. We ran our install. Now we just migrate. There it migrated our two tables. And now if we just go to 107 there. So now you see here we're getting this file structure and if we click on public then it's going to give us this error too because see we need to go ahead and make the app storage writable so to do that you just need to go ahead and type uh, chmod dash r 777 App storage. And that'll fix that. So if we go back and refresh, back in the public, there we go. Okay. Now, if I wanted to log, now to get rid of this, you know, we have to go into the public. We need to go ahead and edit the uh, sites available, the actual default HT access. And we only need to change a few things. So I'm just say sudo nano etc Apache 2 sites available and then default. Enter. Now you want to go ahead and change this, both of these, to public. Since this is the only website we have on the server, we can go ahead and say public here and then here we can also say public we need to go ahead and change allow override none to allow override all and that's it you can hit control O to write out enter to save control X to leave and if we refresh this Without that, we go back. So we need to restart our server. So let's just, I want to up arrow until I find the restart command. There it goes, it's restarted. And now if we refresh, there we go. So now let's go ahead and log in. So I'm going to forward slash log, actually register. And there's registration, and I'm just going to use. Well, uh, on down 2005 to register you at you.com password and now register so hit you.com and the password enter and there we go we don't need to save it so in the admin section go ahead and create a post This is our new post. Say I hope you enjoy it. I'm not gonna worry about description or keywords. I'm just gonna go ahead and create it. And it's created, and if I open this in another link, you can see it's already created our blog, and I can read more. 
and it has blog and it has our pretty fired URL so let's go ahead and create a couple more posts this is our second post and I have our second post and let's create one more and so you create them refresh go back and here's all our blog posts and let's go ahead and search for like second Make sure that works, and there we go. It brought up our second post. Let's try final. So if we type in final in the search box, click that, then we're good to go. All right, and there you go. So we have our blog. The the blog that we create in the premium tutorial, tutorial is successfully installed on a DigitalOcean droplet. Now the only thing we would have to do now is bring in our domain name into the actual droplet itself and we'd get rid of the IP address. So if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and like I said if you want to see if you want the blog tutorial it's like ten dollars US uh, like maybe around 750 euro so that's if you want the blog tutorial it's it shows you a lot that I actually everything we went through in 2013 this is like the culmination of everything we learned in 2013 is in this blog tutorial so I'll be back later with more tutorials and thank you for watching